I like. I think I'm live. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm still working this shit. I'm still new to this shit. But look, one of the things I want to do is, you know, is react to videos on my channel, bro. Because we all watch YouTube in our spare time. We all watch TikTok videos. We all a condition to be on our phone and scroll and shit. You know, and kind of get lost in it. One thing I noticed with YouTube that really, 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 really like, uh, I don't know, it kind of get on my nerves a little bit, man, is when people fake pranks. I hate scripted pranks. Now, don't get me wrong. Some things, it's like wrestling. You know it's scripted, but it's still entertaining, so you can get away with it. But when people, like, force the content as if it's not scripted, but the shit scripted, irritates me, which brings me to my dude right here. That's why I rocks with him. You can tell when a content creator make original, authentic content and like they not forcing that shit. I love Big Dogs TV because his pranks, his stuff, you can tell he not faking his stuff. But then there's some motherfuckers on here, like we gonna, we gonna tap in. There's some motherfuckers on here who just be forcing it and then I be surprised by like, I don't know if people know it be scripted or not, but like I just be surprised by how many like, I don't know man, like, like look. Let's just let's just let's just watch the let's just watch the video. Welcome to Big Dots TV. Today I'm at the University of Arizona. I have my headphones in and I'm gonna be blasting embarrassing voice text in the library. Enjoy. New text from baby girlfriend, boo lover baby. Hey sweet baby boy. I really enjoyed licking you from the top of your forehead down to your crusty toenails this morning before you left for the library. When you're back from studying, I'm going to wrap you up in this new wrapping paper I bought from Walmart and put a big old bow on your sweet ass. From there, I'm going to unwrap you, my sexy little package, and use you like a new toy. I can't wait for you to get home, so hurry up now. Finish your studying and hurry home. I'm dripping wet. Did that just play on? Oh my god. That's too stupid. New text from Kelly. Hey babe, it's me. I just don't think I can date you anymore. Your nipples are so hairy and you know how important it is for me to have them in my mouth and like no one likes hairy nipples in their mouth, so y'all bye. What? And you can tell this shit be real because he do it on college campuses. Like, he don't go, you know, like I said, bro, then it shit. Like, I can watch it like that all day. New text from Dad Dawson. You gotta stop shitting in the litter box. It's for cats, you idiot. You also need to clean up the 10,000 dirty tissues off your bedroom floor. Oh I am tired of your mother picking them up and having them get stuck to her hands. Grow up. <laughs> New text from Aunt Deborah Dawson. This needs to stop. You can't keep hooking up with your uncle, Demarcus. That's my husband, you dog. If this continues, there will be serious repercussions from your father. I will keep in touch, but please keep your dirty hands off my husband. New text from mommy. Hello, sweetie, it is your mom. I picked up your erectile dysfunction. And then you could tell because the people who he put the emojis over their face is the people who don't give consent to be in the video. Like, they don't want no parts of that shit. And so you could tell it's authentic because you have to, like, if it's scripted, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. You ain't got to worry about that type of shit. But, like, he know, you know, that person don't have, he don't have their consent. So, you know, that's why I rock with him. But this, but this thing, not even, like, I didn't want to watch the whole thing. But, like, it's just one of these things that irritate me. Now, watch this. I'm about to go type in one prank that I know scripted. I don't care who the creator is. I'm not coming at no creator or nothing like that. Make your money. That shit just irritate me. It just grab my gears and it make me mad. I'm about to type in this prank right here. This is one of the most, like, bro, I hate this prank. I hate this prank and I hate you. Like, I just, bro, I really hate this prank. Hold up. Like, 
I'm gonna just type what it is. The um, gold digger prank pop right up. Soon as I tell, I hate this prank. I know this prank not real, bro, bro. It like my nigga, my nigga. Like you, you really think, really think about like, like just, just my nigga. <laughs> You got to think about all of the shit that got to happen for these pranks to be authentic. You mean to tell me every time you go talk to a girl, she look like an IG model. She don't give you no play. She she shut you down. Then you go walk by a nice ass car and then she start being nice to you. Like my nigga. Come on, bro. That shit is cringe, bro. That shit is cringy. I, I, listen. I would rather... Make authentic shitty content, or authentic content that I can live with, that I rock with, that's like cool. Versus doing like this cringy stuff. The only way I do this cringy shit is I'm making a parody of it. I'm I'm making fun of it. I'm you know trying to be humorous. But to seriously do this shit, oh my god, bro! Like, bro, look at this, bro! Like, look at this! Come on, my nigga! Come on, my nigga! Like, come on, man! Like every look, look at the women, bro. Look at look at the booty. Look at the booty. Look at the ass, bro. Everybody do this. So you mean to tell me everybody? And like, and like I said, I'm not tripping off of like the fact that like if it's scripted, who cares? It's like you do it as if it's not scripted. Like this shit oh, real. Like you go get a call, or rent a call. And then, like, she just all of a sudden, all in. Now, don't get me wrong. We all know they got gold diggers in the world. We all know they got people who enter people for what they have and not them. We get it. We get what the prank is. But to consistently, consistently make the same type of videos over and over again and get the same type of reaction be getting on my motherfucking nerves. I don't know. It just do something to me. Like, it really blows my shit, bro. It really I don't even watch that shit. I was about to react to it. I'm not reacting to that shit. Fuck, I'm not doing it. Like... I don't got the mental, you heard me for it, bro. Like, but as I start doing more reaction videos, I was like, bro, my first real reaction video got to be to this stupid shit, bro. Just to, like, give y'all a gist of how I'm coming. Like, I don't want, like, I react to stuff that y'all suggest, bro, but these scripted things be annoying me. Like, even a couple pranks, like, when a couple's pranking each other over and over again, like, everybody know, anybody with any logical sense know if two YouTubers live together and they getting paid off of YouTube, like, it's only so many times you could prank the other person without the person expect it or not, uh, or not, you know, look for the camera and shit like that. Like it's only so many times you could keep doing it again. But with the with the YouTube couples, at least like some of it's entertaining, right? Like, but this shit, bro, this shit right here be irking me. But give me some videos to react to, bro. Give me some videos that's, you know. That y'all think I should check out, that I should look at, that I should comment on and give my viewpoint on. And then you let me let me know your viewpoint in the comment section, bro. But we building this channel up, bro. I'm back streaming. I'm back on my shit. You know, and I'm back doing my thing. And if you rock with me, rock with me. If you don't, Wakanda. I don't care. I fucks with y'all. I'm out. You feel me?